It has fisheries and also the insular areas. So that means it covers all the territories. All the issues affecting territories come under that subcommittee. So that's why all of us as delegates have to be on that committee because that's the primary jurisdiction. Uh, and we are the counterpart to the Secretary of the Interior who oversees all the U.S. territories. Uh, I'm also on the Indian, uh, American Indian, uh, Native American and Native Alaska uh, subcommittee. Uh, and simply because these are indigenous peoples. And uh, I've always expressed an interest in, on the rights of, uh, of indigenous peoples throughout the world that I don't think have been given fair uh, uh, treatment. I, I suppose you might put it in those terms. Uh, uh, and my interest also to in being on the uh, Native American, the Native Alaskan bill is because of the Native Hawaiians. Uh, still have not been recognized by the federal government. 400,000 Native Hawaiians who are truly are an indigenous peoples under the U.S. government are not recognized by the federal government. And you would not believe that the thinking that the reason why is because we don't want any special race-based favorites given to any ethnic group. I said, but these are, are indigenous people, like we give special consideration for Native Americans as we do Native Alaskans. So the way I look at it, there are only three truly indigenous peoples living in this, planet, in this country. The Native American Indians, the Native Alaskans, and the Native Hawaiians. But to this day, and Senator Kaka, God bless his heart, hopefully that we will get this bill passed uh, when he retires next year to give Native Hawaiians full recognition as Native Americans uh, under, the, uh, under the federal uh, system.